the September quarter data is in and what we've seen this quarter is really a replay of the trends that we've observed through the two previous quarters in 2013. First of all, investment activity has been strong and robust with particular interest from offshore investors, while leasing activity has remained subdued. Nevertheless, there is evidence in the latest quarter to expect that leasing activity will be stronger as we look forward into 2014. First of all, this quarter we saw a stabilisation of underlying demand for office space across the major CBD markets. That's the first positive reading we've had since 2012. And secondly, we saw a change in the sublease availability trend. Sublease availability is important because it tends to be a leading indicator of the underlying demand for office space. And this quarter, in the case of the Sydney and Melbourne markets, we saw a slight fall in sublease availability. Although admittedly in the Perth and Brisbane markets, sublease space continued to rise. Across CBD office markets, we saw the average vacancy rate rise in the quarter from 10.9 to 11.3%, and we think we are now close to the peak of the current vacancy cycle. Nevertheless, we don't see vacancy falling across most markets in the short term. We think we are looking at double-digit vacancy at least until the end of 2014. Similar trends are evident in the retail and industrial markets. Rental growth has been flat or slightly negative across the retail sector and we've also seen subdued rental growth in the industrial sector. Although in the case of industrial, the take-up of space has been running fairly strongly thanks to some pre-lease deals. We think industrial take-up through 2013 will exceed the 10-year average. As mentioned, investment demand has been strong. Through the first nine months of this year, we've tracked $15.5 billion worth of transactions, which is a 20% increase on the same period last year. Of those transactions, offshore investors account for a significant 22%, which compares favourably with the 27% that we recorded through calendar year 2012. So what are the new and emerging trends this quarter? Last quarter, we talked about the search for certainty, the fact that investors were willing to pay a premium for core assets with secure cash flows. Over this quarter, we've seen yield spreads continue to widen, and as a result, new investors have appeared looking to take advantage of the high yields that are available in the case of some non-core and non-CBD markets. These investors include syndicates, some high net worth individuals, and also active managers looking to take advantage of the wide spreads in order to achieve capital growth. A second theme has been the recovery in the residential market. The residential market affects the commercial property market in a number of different ways. Clearly rising house prices have a positive effect on retail spending, particularly in the case of discretionary spending, which is positive for retail shopping centres, for example. But also we've observed in the past that a recovery in the residential market tends to feed through to an increase in the demand for office space, probably through an expansion of the financial sector. So what is the underlying outlook for Australia through 2014? The economic data remains reasonably strong. What has been missing has been confidence, consumer confidence and also business confidence. It's early days, but we believe over the last two or three months we've seen a recovery in both of these indicators, which suggests that looking forward, we will see 2013 as having been a year of consolidation before the economy returns to trend growth in 2014.